Right, we are on. Let's see if the software is good. Yeah, mic is on. Okay, let's go. Yeah. Yeah, I just waiting to get a hang of this. Yeah, how's things? Is everybody anybody online? Uh sorry just a bit smashed. Yeah. Whew. Let's get to it. So uh Roman architecture sketching. Yeah, okay. So we got a couple of drawings here to my students. And uh this is the uh second assignment for sketching. What's this? What's this looking? That's something else, right? Um, obviously, a bit of a uh, a bit of a layout mistake here. It's a beginner one. Just line drawing for this. Which is good. Very dynamic. Let's see if uh, everything is good. Playbacks, current viewers, yeah. We don't care about that too much. So let's have a look at this sketch here for uh, these eight sketches first. Right. Ah. So, um, what you want to do is to understand that 80%, 80 percent, 80 percent of a drawing is line drawing. Okay, so we want to get that out of the way first and get that working for us. Um, so perspective is very important here. What you want is to basically have these go radially towards a perspective point. So let's say the horizon line is somewhere here. these lines to go in perspective we, we don't want them to be parallel okay same here um, same principle goes here if anybody has any questions just let me know right. a perspective point this way another one this way and obviously there's a bit of a perspective mistake here I can spot these in an instant well architects can see them right like the architect's sixth sense, sixth or seventh sense. Like this could be an L in plane of view, it's colonnade or a new shape, right? Okay, so it still needs to go to two different perspective points. This is very nice, this is a different assignment. Okay, so again, recap. Number one, line drawing is 80%. Number two, the perspective, uh, perspective, perspective mistakes. For something like this, this is a different lesson again. This is the uh, ancient Greek architecture. It still has a bit of a perspective mistake. Um, you could say the horizon line is somewhere here. And then... Uh, these go this way. Right, so the, the way this is drawn, it has the horizon line kind of down the middle, which creates optical illusions, right? Um, which some are good, like you want a perspective that is very deformed. So, for instance, like look at your little sm small thumbnail. Um, You want something more like this. Right. So a bit more deformed, so it looks more more spatial. Okay. So there's still a bit of a perspective mistake here. Uh, some of these are very good, detail-wise. This is very good. But again, 
You see, it's quite easy to get stuff that you skip. Okay. It's kind of hard to make everything work all the time with drawing. Okay. So the, uh, this is a pattern of perspective mistakes. This one here is another pattern of perspective mistakes. And there's also this. This is something that always, happen for, always happens for interview design life. Um, try to have perspectives which aren't, aren't that deformed in depth. So this is a dome, so it should be a cylinder, uh, a circle, sorry, a half sphere. So this should be a square by that logic, okay? So that means that we've got here something that's as deformed as a uh, ah, damn. Kind of hard sometimes to, sometimes to guesstimate this, but whatever. Okay, makes sense. This is too deep. This goes in too much. It needs to be kind of like this. Okay, so that would be pattern number three of perspective mistakes. So if you're doing interior perspectives, domes, and stuff, always uh, think about this sort of stuff. Uh, there's uh, there's always the um, the classical orders. Right, when you're drawing a capital. Again, make it asymmetrical. Put on the ellipses. And I recommend you add the horizon line like really down, right? So really lower in the, in the perspective. So you see horizon line, perspective, optical illusion, these are um, reoccurring themes. Yeah, this could be good. I understand what this is, but this could be good. Okay, so this is kind of the pattern of stuff that's always happening. Let's see. Uh, there. Uh, hiya. One second. If you sign up for this course, uh, it's a live stream. Uh, yeah, sure. The courses, uh, you got the five day intensive, which is also free. Any questions? Anyone seeing this? Uh, I love it when people start with, with free. Is it free? Free is nice, but free doesn't solve any. Uh, serious stuff right okay same pattern so pattern number three again right okay so we got around uh, we should have like eight sketches six architecture um, yeah architecture ones this is good this is accurate right so somewhere here and uh, two detailing the com compos composite uh, capital and um, cornice detail. Right. So we got the Colosseum, the Hagia Sophia, an aqueduct, um, a piece of a Roman forum, a piece of a Roman basilica, which is an ancient shopping mall, uh, detailing, and the uh, what's it called? Uh, the composite capital. Basically, you guys can send me work for review uh, if you uh, join any of my courses or I don't know, we just got the free stuff like uh, Lucas said. And, uh, by all means, uh, there's a Dropbox link somewhere in the description and you can upload the stuff there and I'll have a look at it. Um, I'm planning to see where the art drawing show can go to um, 
Right. Okay. Again, this could be a bit too uh, same pattern, too deep, right? Line drawing wise, let's look at the line drawing. So you talked about the perspective, very good, very good. Line drawing wise, um, what's happening in here? I recommend you always, when you draw, you have um, the architect's line, which is basically lines that intersect. So if you have a cube somewhere, so we're drawing this cube here. Right, you don't want to just draw an outline like a very uh, something like this. You don't want this. This doesn't look architectural. You want the architect's lines. So basically lines that overlap a bit. Okay? Is this making sense? This is very uh Yeah. This is stuff that's very important for you. Oh, this is full of perspective mistakes. Again, why is it full of perspective mistakes? Because it's different. It's a very long object, which means it's a bit different for your brain to process it. And it still goes, you know, in a radial fashion. Okay. So note this down. Let's look at where we got some architect's lines. Oh man, this has got such a bad optic, optical illusion here. Snap. <laughs> what can I say? You know, like people, um, to get this sort of skill set, you need to, you need to struggle a bit, right? So, this is good work, but again, in architecture, if it's, it needs to tick all the boxes in order to, to be 100% good work, okay? Um, it's very uniform as well, hatching wise, but let's, let's uh, leave hatching aside. Okay, architect's line, right? Uh, for this thing here, for instance. Let's leave the back lines, right? You see the, these edges, these very crisp edges. Um, this is something that I recommend you have in all your work. Okay. Boom. Again, we're still on the line drawing. Let me see any questions, anything? Is it cause free in general or is it like a trust? I understand. Um like uh, um I will do live streams. Work which are free, etc etc. That's a card of five day course. Which is free work is that. Of course they're not free. Come on. Yay! Question the best question ever. Alright, the next question you could ask me is if uh, if you study for a week, will you get that good? You know, it's, come on. I'll send you a link of the five day intensive course. Of course the premium of stuff is premium, you know, whatever. That doesn't matter, man. It ruins the experience for talking about that, right? Let's focus on the architecture in front of us. Right, so what we have here. You see this Colosseum, this is a, a vertical cylinder. Okay. And what's the rule with a vertical cylinder? The ellipses as they go up, they become more and more open. So as you go up like this, to make this a very interesting live stream, right? Education at least. I'm kind of bummed out. I drank some amino acids or some stupid stuff just to, because I'm doing boxing, right? And I want to, to recover faster. It like knocked me out really fast. Yeah, it's, really bad stuff okay 
So um, I'm not really 100% on now, but uh, you know, we'll get a brain fried and uh, something's going to click sooner than uh, later, right? So let's look at this, okay? No, uh, please note this down, like uh, if I just look this, at this right, at, at the live stream. Let's. Uh, Right, this is, these are the ellipses that go up, right? The problem with that, and they become more and more open, there's like a um, healthy balance. You don't want to uh, open them too much because they'll end up looking like circles eventually, right? For the Colosseum, let's have a look at another Colosseum. See, uh, this is good. It's slightly better opening-wise, right? The ellipses are more open, but uh, we got trouble with the... Uh, what's it called the ellipses um, because they look like little fish um, if you uh, hopefully you're taking notes by the way this isn't um, yeah I know YouTube is about people just um, you know talking about stuff and uh, blah 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 I, I don't care about that I care about results you should care about results you know becoming the real deal with this stuff not just faking it sometimes right that means you need to basically go and take notes and apply this in your own drawings, okay? That's, that's the good part. Uh, okay, so we've got um, an ellipse here. It looks like a little fish. That's the problem. If you add the horizontal axis of symmetry, it's going to look like this, okay? You need to have the horizontal axis. This is a little weird. I'll just draw it like a little fish. There we go. Um, okay, something like that. If you want to draw a correct horizontal ellipse, you've got the ellipse here, and you kind of need to guesstimate it for eight points, right? Again, please note all of this down. Any questions, just hit me up in the chat room, right? Because I'll, I'll get to you. Just talking about this stuff and then I'll get to you, right? These are maximum points and these are the intermediary points. Okay. For starters, we're going to guesstimate them, but they need to be on the same vertical there, right? Is it making sense? Let's have a look. Yay, two viewers, yay. Useful. Right. Hmm. Okay, so the same pattern of mistakes is ev everywhere if you look, okay? But yeah, probably that's uh that's because it's this is the challenge, right, for this assignment. Right, and that you can see it's it's too open for how close it is to the horizon line. So it should be a bit more closed. Right. I think eventually I'll, I'll uh, start filming stuff. Right, as I correct it. You know, just a bit of improv to show off these skills, you know, just... Because uh, these are very good skills to have. It's not about showing off, it's about um, being able to do what you say. Okay? Is this making sense? Line drawing again. We're looking at line, line drawing. Okay, very good. Let's look at this aqueduct. See, there's something off here. That's why line drawing is really hard to get. But uh, don't worry about it. You know, you will understand it and you will uh, make a lot of progress. Uh, don't be ashamed to say you're ashamed or what. No. Then be timid. Go, come on and say, uh, jump on the stream and say hi. Any questions, just hit me up, but please make them architectural questions, right? Um, 
sticking points or anything I will sort out a quiz on um, on uh, architectural drawing I'm planning to do free quizzes that will help you clear things up like where your sticking points are what you can do about it and uh, right whoa it's me it's very good right horizon line here Again, they're radial. And this is the thing. This unit here, you measure the diagonal, and boom. So the partitions aren't accurate. This would be the fourth element of perspective of end of line drawing. Okay? Fourth or fifth. Well, all this stuff, you basically need to apply it. Okay? This is funny. Like people being chased by this uh, thing. Um, let's look at hatching for a bit. This is bad. This is bad hatching because it doesn't have a gradient. It needs to start off darker and then it loses intensity. This is kind of good. See, it's got like a contrast here. Very good. Very good here as well. A gradient and then it goes dark, 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 dark. Okay, so you get like a focus point. A gradient this way. Right, this is very good. Yeah, gradient this way. Okay, this is missing gradients. When you want to create a drawing, that looks good. Uh, always draw a border and try to hatch starting from that border. Okay. Yeah. That's going to create the effect that you want. And always when you're doing an uh, interior perspective, don't forget To always make the um, <coughs> the floor darker, right? So your perspective sits accurately. Okay. Uh, there was that joke a couple of years ago about Johnny Ive being stuck in the white room for years and years. Right. This is kind of what we don't want. Okay. You want to have this strong grid and a gradient on top of it. Okay. Just to create the effect of, uh, of spatial depth. This line drawing here is very aggressive. No, not, not that good. And the hatching as well, it's, it's too um it's too strong. You need to have, you know, from dark all the way to I just say it's like ten gradients. Right? From zero to ten. kind of need to have all of them. What I noticed is that most students have the seventh gradient. So kind of this gray, this type of gray, okay? 
they have this and I feel like Sharper is acting up. Yeah. Uh, and that's why the, the drawings look very dull. Okay. Something like this. More or less seven. with the perspective mistakes because uh, it's like a skill once you get it it's there All right I see anyone there yeah you see this is like a seven it's uniform it should have darker cast shadows here and here right a bit of a gray maybe something that will create this effect okay this is good hatching wise very good this is too um, too dark darker contrast in the foreground it's just good it could yeah you don't want a you want a constant gradient and with architectural drawing it's really easy to get because it's all planar so basically you need to have the foreground darker right and then the focus point darker right And line drawing wise, this is how it kind of goes. It's kind of an axonometric here. You can have a gradient from, from the line drawing as well, but. It's not the main thing. The main thing is a gradient from hatching. Oh, is not forever. Right. This is kind of the quick review of all of this. Um, let me know if you've got any questions. I'll uh, think about what I can do because I want to make this like educational and uh, entertaining. You know. Um, yeah, I'm not too much about chatting, though. Uh, I can ask any question. Um, just it's just about getting the results basically. For everybody that comes up, you know, comes in and interacts with my work, you know, uh, you know, if you see a video lesson somewhere, just boom. Um, want you to uh, to get something from it. Okay. Cool. See you at tomorrow's live stream. Take care.